No problem. Didn't work.
Puna, bona na kichu. Selima wanga kun biking. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha shaka paga. Mucha. Yeah, what do you want? What? You think I don't have something better to do? How can I help? I'm confident that you can deal with that on your own. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Yes, what's... Sorry, can't be much help with that. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I do not know how to help you with that. I am sorry. Hey there, what can I do for you? No problem, just anything else. No problem, just anything else. No anything. No anything. No anything. No anything. No anything else. No problem, just so happens I've got anything. Sorry. Hey there, what can I do? Oh, heck, I don't know. Mucha shaka paga. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Selima wanga. be strong with the force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the order to be trained. When I joined the order, I left my family on Tal Ravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last of their I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst, but even love can lead to folly. Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. 
taking me to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. Like all who join the Order, I have learned to embrace the life I've chosen. I had to let go of my attachments to my family. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Chi <laughs> One of my crews is chinga pula mulang. Today, Rana Prata, don't go such a dumb um toma. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. One kun bez ching pala mule, tonking ba nunotak. Tok ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ka chikun ita hodonga. I king kuno pa mule rat. Ta kum jus tak miki grabble mogo. Ka chichu it. Tong abog sha umi. Takum just tak miki grabble mogo. Tong ab. Kachikun ita hod. Takum just tak. Shakapanka Mucha Shakapanka Tonki ba non tontek Kipuna Bona na kichu Salima Wanga Kunbikin Tong Kiba Tong Abuk Shami no Nok Tong Abuk Shami no Nok Tonki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tonki ba non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. 
ton ki ba non ton tek. Ton abuk shami no no. Mucha shaka panka. Ton ki ba non ton tek. Ton ki ba non ton tek. Tonki ba non tontek. Ton abuk shami non. Muchashaka panka. Ton abuk shami no nok. Muchashaka panka. Muchashaka panka. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shaka panka. Selima wanga kun bikin. Kipona, bona na kichu. Kipona, bona na kichu. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tong ki ba non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shaka panka. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong ki ba non ton tek. Mucha shaka panka. Tong ki ba non ton tek. Tong ki ba non ton tek. Mucha shaka panka. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong ki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong hai duam jiji jump lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto dun. Jila mulane ni dubobo. Wanga kun bischang ba mulera.
has given us a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. A star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Yes, what's on your mind? Tatooine's just a desert planet. I hear the mining isn't going so well. I bet the colony gets abandoned before long. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. You got it. How can I help? Then I suggest we move. How can I help? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zaha. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the Force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? And that 
is why the dark side is so insidious. If you are not careful, you do not even see each small step you take towards it until it's too late. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side, but I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Yeah, what do you want? I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. The doors opened in front of me and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. The exhilaration... The euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a speed-boosting stimulant to help you get quicker. There anything else you need? <laughs> Here's a... There anything... Here's a... There any... There any... There... There anything... <laughs> there any... There any... Here's a... There any... Here... There any... Here... There... A real... There any... Hey, are there anything? Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. You don't. A real warrior knows his own limits. Are there any? You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the outer rim in those years, <laughs> and you never will now. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy. 
playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on the side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other, just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it, something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? Your choice. Hey there, what can I do for you? I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay, until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me, and we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? I always heard Tatooine was nothing but a rock covered by a bunch of worthless sand. I can't even figure out why Zerka Corp set up their mining operations here. Sorry I can't be more help, you know. Is there anything else I can do for you? Okay. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve, after some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. 
We're not unreasonable. We just want to cover expenses. I assure you that the fee is non-negotiable. We have a very thin margin of profit on this world. No, no, no. I'm sorry, but we have to charge something. Maintenance is expensive out here. I thought you would. Without these fees, Zerka Corporation would have closed this port years ago. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration. So we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? That's not much information. Could you tell me more? You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. You could always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchor Head. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Yes? You move along.
Yeah, what do you want? So deal with it. Why are you asking me about it? Yeah, what do you... I don't have as many strange stories like the last one I told you. In one battle above the world of Althir, my unit managed to defeat a force of Althiri ten times our own size. That battle gained me command of an entire subsect of my clan. For five days they had managed to hold off our forces, keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Althiri would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. Things didn't go as I had planned. I saw an opening a mistake they had made in the disposition of their forces, and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. I turned my forces and assaulted the center of their fleet, decimating them. Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. The command vessels were destroyed in seconds. Their ranks were thrown into chaos. It was amusing to watch the surviving ships scatter and flee. Several even tried to dive through the plane of the rings to escape us. They were shredded by the rings, or crashed into rocks, or were destroyed by our forces as we pursued them. Warriors do not flee from a battle if they are losing. They fight to the end, as we did against your Jedi Revan. Another time, maybe, I'll tell you about how the war with the Republic went. For now, let's just get on with things. Is there something else you... Your ch hey there, what can I do for you? Want to practice your skills at What can I do for you? Um, are you sure you want to ask me about that? Hey there, what can I do for Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what- Okay.
How can I help? I wish I could help you with that. How can I help? Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus proved that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the Council to test my own abilities. I wondered if the Council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the Council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Come on, come. Let's move on. Yes, what's on your mind? I'm not really sure. You can figure it out on your own, can't you? You here to hunt raid? I work a wrench. Boring. Uchu a penki. Tongi mama ji. Baba Hassan shan. No ba. With Terrace gone...
Jitter but the one and eat the Dong the boom shan nunya. Jitter but the one and eat the Jitter but the Jitter but the Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt Desert Raid. Well, you sure know how to get on my good side. You're just trotting out bantha paths, but thanks all the same. You'll have to ask around. Comad Fortuna is a much more experienced hunter than I am. He hunt the local Jawas are a good source of information, even if it is hard done. My name is Doric Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. Is that enough, or should I start listing my family birthdays? If that good hunting. take too long. Gamorians like to throw insults around, but they just don't have the smarts for it. Credits, is it? Oh, of course. Who put you up to this, my wife? I meant what I said about having no credits. Well, my name is Tannis, and what I do is hunt. I'm sure you've heard of me. Well, actually, I hope you haven't. There isn't any. Too many hunters, not enough prey. I can barely keep expenses covered. Maintenance on battle droids is expensive. Of course, it's better than going alone. What if I stumbled on a bunch of sand people? These solo hunters are crazy. What do I care? I need to eat. I also need to pay for parts so the wife can keep the droids running. It's all about the credits. Some guys will talk about honor and stuff, but they still sell their plates to Faza. I guess honor needs credits too. I suppose, but so what? When that resource goes belly up, I'll just move on. I'm just a wandering spirit, I guess. I'm not real popular with the others, but they just fool themselves. They're in it for the credits, too. Too long. But it beats smuggling. You ever run into a Sith Dreadnought in the desert? No, you haven't. Hell, I married her. <laughs> no, no, seriously, now. I had this friend that crossed Sith space and got stripped of everything. It's not like I have much now, I guess, but I still prefer sand people to get ambushed on unproven trade routes. Ah, she doesn't understand me. You know the drill. It's not my fault. She knew who I was when she married me. Uptight and cold like my wife. They don't like me streamlining the hunt with droids. I don't fit in, but I don't let it bug me. The Gamorians are different. Good rowdy drinking buddies. Girk and his boys, they understand that hunting is a business. Of course they hunt other things than raid, too. 
Just don't turn your back on him. Ever. Nothing. Nothing at all. Just keep your eyes on Dorak is reasonable. Comad is a pain, but he keeps his distance. I can tell he doesn't like me much. Ask around the lodge if you want information about the other guys. I don't... Too long. But it beats... Hot. Good. Again? Well, it's... I've tracked wild beasts my whole life, but I've only been hunting here for five years. I've... There are hunters that go after the big kills, the crate dragons. I don't know how they do it. I never even see the things. Comad is the one I respect, but I also trust... If that's... Again? I don't go telling stories about other people. You want to know... Uh, everyone else... Good hunt. La boda ni winky smack toma. Wanna kun best ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kick. Tok ninja muli ra ra best. Uba patu kochi. Tong non bong chang yung yang. Tong katok smack delia. Kuya mi just kun a jik tenai. Ina kun ma ma ruli ra ra jik kun. Slimo patona. Undi ho tong de jik hokabi. La boda ni winky smack toma. Wanna kun best ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kick. Ninja Mira Rabes. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. I assume that by out of the ordinary, you're referring to the destruction of Terrace? That is all anyone is talking about. I'm afraid Zerga Corporation is not offering any comment on those events. We wouldn't wish to anger the participants. If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track, one of the few leisure industries on Tatooine. Hmm, there was also a Jawa here earlier, saying something about needing help. I think he's out by the city gate. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Our droid translators had difficulty with the message. Very well, though I do have work. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many. We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Very well. Of course. Zerka Corporation records are available at our representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. 
For your needs here, we maintain a fully stocked storehouse. Speak with Greta Holda about any purchases. Farewell. Zer Chua Pengti, Yun Patisa, Chiwi. Hey there, what can I do for you? Don't worry. Okay. Blabo da ni wen kis matoma. Wanna cool best Jing Pa Ma Ruli Ra? Top Jing Bang Non Kit. Top Ninja Ruli Ra Ra Best. Kuya Mi Just Ku Na Jik Tanai. Yin Na Ku Ma Ma Ruli Ra Ra Jik Kuni. Sri Mo Padona. Rudi Ha Dong Da Jik Kuni. La Bo Da Ni Wen Kis Ma Toma. Wanna cool best Jing Pa Ma Ruli Ra? Top Jing Bang Non Kit. Top Ninja Ruli Ra Ra Best. Kuya Mi Just Ku Na Jik Tanai. Yin Na Ku Ma Ma Ruli Ra Ra Jik Kuni. Jawana Vota Ayua Tahunga Chakanki Dora, Kachikui Tahodonga, Topa da Hungwalia Gando Dona no Kuya Mijus Kuna Chitanai, Yina Kuna Marulira Rachikun, Slimo Patona, La Boda Ni Winkis Matoma, Wana Kun Bes Chingpa Marulira, Top Chingba Kuya Mijus Kuna Chitanai, Yina Kuna Marulira Rachikun, Slimo Patona, La Boda Ni Winkis Matoma, Wana Kun Bes Chingpa Marulira. Top Jing Bang Non Kit Top Ninja Kuya Mi Just Ku Na Jik Tanai Ina Ku Ma Ma Ruli Ra Ra Jik Kun La Boda Ni Wen Kis Ma Toma Wana Ku Bes Jing Pa Ma Ruli Ra Top Jing Bang Non Kit Kuya Mi Just Ku Na Jik Tanai Ina Ku Ma Ma Ruli Ra Ra Jik Kun La Boda Ni Wen Kis Ma Toma Wana Ku Bes Jing Pa Ma Ruli Ra Top Jing Bang Non Kit Kuya Mi Just Ku Na Jik Tanai Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chi kun Slimo Kuya mi just kun na chi tenai Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chi kun La bo da ni wen kis ma toma Wana kun bes jing ba ma ruli ra Tok jing bang non kit Tok ning cha Kuya mi just la bo da ni wen kis ma toma Wana kun bes jing ba ma ruli ra Tok jing bang non kit Tok ning cha mi Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please take it quick. Hmm. All right, but I'm not sure what I could say to interest you. I just work on the crawlers. I repair the sand crawlers when they return from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. Have you? Not many hunters have tried in the past. Good luck to you is all I can say. The sand people are vicious. I see the damage on the crawlers when they come back. If they come back. I have no idea. I don't go out on the desert if I can help it. I'm sure the sand people will find you if you walk far enough. Oh, the big crawlers head out at dawn. That's so they avoid the bigger predators. The raid. Doesn't help avoid the sand people, though. They attack pretty regular, no matter what Zerka Corporation tries. Well, it's a hole in the galaxy as far as I'm concerned. I doubt this outpost will last much longer. But that's happened before and will happen again. Ac well, Tatooine fools people. It looks like it might have a good supply of resources, but it doesn't. Before a company learns this, they've already set up communities to support operations they now can't afford. The company pulls out, cities dry up, and after a few years, someone that doesn't know why it failed tries again. No one is. 
I guess it looked like a promising mining patch, but the metal, I tell you, this isn't right. I've been a mechanic my whole life. I've never seen anything corrode as fast as Tatu. It's why whoever was here before left. Why Zerka will leave. Why whoever. All right then. No, I still haven't heard a final figure on how many. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. I saw a crate dragon once. Well, not a close. Our business has nothing to do with you, Spacer. Something you want, Spacer. Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it. Seems like every other person I meet is complaining about something. Well, it's not going to get better, so leave me alone. I don't really have any interest in helping you. Will this be quick? Nobody we've brought, that's for sure. Our expert said this rock was supposed to have mining potential to last for years. Nothing but garbage or good for nothing. You ever try to sell someone garbage? He needs mud in three systems now. Good. I have a lack of business to attend to. Well now, what can Gandraf do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. Usually it's some kid wondering what my old racing days were like when I was back on Taras. I'm not sure what I have that you would be interested in. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just an old schmoop jock that doesn't have the head for it anymore. 
Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. The best place to race is wherever the track treats you sweet and your times are golden. You get hung up on any one track and, and he'll end up like me. <laughs> My favorite stop was Taris. Taris. Always look forward to going back. Now, nah, nah, I don't want to touch my bike at all. Uh, maybe, maybe I wasn't in the winter circle lately, but I <laughs> still race. Oh well, past my prime by any measure. I started late too. Not like the kids out there now. Some of them. Are... I don't. I don't really talk to any of them. I, I know Zara's from the circuit, and, and we couldn't ask for a tougher lady. <laughs> I don't, I don't know the younger guys, but, but I've been watching Nico. Uh, good to see someone doing it for the love of the race. I don't know, but but, 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 but some people just, just have something that lets the bike take them. It's, it's like the air stops pushing back. That's an old track, too. All right. Uh, Well, fresh face for the game. I wonder which. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt of the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Aw, oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just cause you're some Jedi, doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... What the... Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. Hey there, what can I do? Don't worry. I always heard, sorry. Oh.
And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it. Oh, <laughs> 
Hey there, what can I do for you? Don't worry. Okay. Hey there. Don't Okay. Go on, leave me alone. I've got stuff to work. Racer stuff. Nothing you'd understand. Don't mean to be rude, but it's kind of secret. Ha, sure. I'm not in the mood for jokes, thanks. I've got things to think about. You wouldn't know anything about it. Deal with that hut mata and you'll understand. Until then. And? Sounds like you have something special. What do you want help with? Wanna come this? 
That isn't fair! On Terrace, you had to give a cut to this group gang sponsoring you. But at least the rider got the higher share of the winnings. <laughs> Yeah, 